What's up you guys and welcome to Villa Olori. I am so excited to finally share my furnished house tour. Guys, it has been a two year journey of building my dream house here in Bali, Indonesia. Literally from the point of buying the land to creating the dream and the concept. And now I am standing right in front of this gorgeous property and I'm so excited to share with you guys. But make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe and smash that like button guys. And be sure to tell me in the comments below what your favorite part of the house is. Mine is certainly the view. <laughs> you guys can tell how excited I am. But yeah, I wanna show you guys all the parts of the house and why I love this place so much. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> now in the rice fields that the villa overlooks and actually what we were able to do is get a 25 year lease on this land and so that means that for the next 25 years these views are completely unobstructed and really for me these rice fields make so much of the heart of this villa and so every time i look outside and i'm looking right at the rice fields and it's such a peaceful experience and i almost forget all of the craziness that was building this property. I started this journey when I was 22 years old. Me, single lady, living here in Bali, and I wanted to build my dream house, and I really did not know what I was getting myself into, but it has been such a rewarding experience. And so I want to show you guys so much of this house and why I am so in love uh, with everything that has happened and all of the crazy stories finally culminated into what is now such a beautiful property. So let's go. <laughs> so guys, one of the things that you see as you walk right into the villa is of course the Santorini white pool. And this was a non-negotiable for me. Of course, if you've been to Greece, you know how gorgeous these pools are. And so I wanted to kind of recreate that here in Bali. And so this was one of the top things that was on my vision board for this house was to be able to have a crystal clear pool. And then of course the pool overlooks the rice fields, which makes it even more magical. And we also have a beautiful garden and an outdoor shower area as well. So something I'm really, really excited about is just the views and how white and clean everything looks as you walk right into the house. All right, and so we are off to the sunken seating area. One of my favorite chill spots in this space. And what I really love about everything here, of course, is just how how comfortable, <laughs> just how comfortable they are. But actually the fabric as well here was made from Ankara fabric and it's also waterproof. And what I really wanted to do in this house is bring together all the different parts of my personality and my culture, my background. And so I wanted to incorporate different parts of Africa and things that I love from artisans all over the world in this villa. And so you can see that in this space with the Ankara style fabric, Fabric. And then, of course, I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the other parts of the house with different paintings and stuff that are also reflective of Africa. And so this villa is really a combination of ethnic style, but also modern, glamorous, and luxurious uh, furniture. So let me take you now to the next part of this outdoor space. So guys, on to my next favorite part of the outdoor space, which is this gorgeous setting. And I wanted to have a nice place where you can kind of have lunch 
during the day or have a late dinner and you wanna just enjoy again the views. And so this table was custom built by Jez Living and actually 99% of the furniture in this house is custom made for the villa and custom ordered. And so we really wanted to use all of the local artisans that we could here in Bali. Jez Living made this and this was not no what I ordered versus what I got, which is I could tell you some stories, <laughs> but they really were able to execute it. And I really love how it turned out. And of course, the lovely chairs as well, it gives it like a really fun, modern look. And then the Buddha, <laughs> Listen guys, it was so hard to find a Buddha that I really loved and I literally searched and searched. I went to Ubud, I went to Cinnamon, I went to different parts of Karobakan to find a good Buddha with a nice face and I finally found one that I really loved. And so this is really the feature of the home when you walk into the building and you just see the Buddha staring right at you. And for me, it just signals peace and really just making this house a home and yeah. So now I want to walk you guys through <laughs> one of my really, really, so this entire piece has a story. I mean, we could not carry these upstairs and so we decided to actually leave them here in the outdoor area downstairs because each of them literally weighs 300 kilograms. We had to get five people to carry just one of the chairs because they were that heavy. And these are actually made uh, right here in Indonesia. They are made by people in Java and we transported them from Java all the way to Bali. And they've been sitting for a long time so it's so nice to finally have them unwrapped and just a, form a really cool part of the outdoor space. So I really love them and I just kind of sit here in the mornings <laughs> and just enjoy the views and take it all in like wow. You know, I feel so blessed, so, so, so blessed and wow. All right guys, so we are now in the living room and kitchen area. I'll show you guys the kitchen first. So the first thing I love about this kitchen area has to be the basket lights. As you can see, we have three huge handmade basket lights right above the kitchen countertop or the kitchen island. And I absolutely love it. I actually saw these uh, basket lights on My Bali Living um, and they do like really nice lights and really nice custom furniture here in Bali. So these were actually made in Ubud, Bali, and I saw them on the website. I was like, oh my God, this is perfect Villa Olori vibes. Uh, so I reached out to them and asked them to make bigger, bigger, bigger sizes, and they turned out to be so incredible. I love the way that they bring out the kitchen space. It gives it like a homey uh, feel, and I, they're just my favorite part about this kitchen. So the next thing I love about the kitchen is the kitchen island, and this is actually made out of terrazzo. You guys actually corrected me in the previous video I did. I was saying terrazzo. So thanks for the correction. Thanks for the tip, well noted. So this is made out of terrazzo and you can see it has some really gorgeous like specks on the island um, and I really love it. It gives me like this kind of like fun glam feel to it. And then if you walk through here, I actually got this tap on Amazon, which is so crazy because this was the first time I ever ordered something from Amazon to Bali. The shipping fees weren't too crazy and I actually ended up getting it within the hour. And what I like about this tap is you can actually also pull it out. So just pull it out here and then I can kind of put it back and pop it in. And I wanted to get something that was like black and gold to complement the rest of the living room space. So now I'm gonna walk you guys through to the fridge. <laughs> so this fridge is, let me show y'all. <laughs> so this is an LG fridge and it has this knock knock feature and then you can also open the first part of the fridge, grab a couple items or you can open the fridge completely. I really love this. This fridge has so much space. My fridge is not that organized, but there's so much space here and it also has this water system 
And yeah, this is a really good fridge. I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my God, this is like the fridge of my dreams. So I really wanted the fridge um, to be something that had a lot of space, was also f uh, really functional. And I think this fridge does a good job of that. So yeah, I mean, this is the kitchen. The appliances here are Electrolux. So I got the Electrolux exhaust fan. I also got an Electrolux uh, stove. And then we got the Electrolux microwave and oven as well. So all the appliances here are Electrolux, really good functional stuff and really durable as well. I've been loving them so far. So yeah, now onto the fun part of the kitchen area. And that is this really cool um, space where I keep stuff for entertaining. So I have my only bottle of wine. Alcohol is expensive in Bali, guys, so. <laughs> also, I don't really drink that much anyways. But yeah, so I wanted to keep like really fun, like wines, stuff for entertainment, glasses, and all of that here. So I'll probably get some more stuff over time, but it's really nice. It has this LED. It looks so good at night, especially the whole place lights up. And so, yeah, this is that space. And then the kitchen has a lot of storage. And this is something that I was really, really particular about, being that this is my first home ever, and I have a lot of things. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough storage space to keep all of my things and then some. And so you guys can see all the way up the top, there's storage all the way around. And so I can keep all the food stuff, things for the house here in the kitchen. And yeah, it's just a big space. I love it. I love that everything is closed up as well, so you don't little you don't have to see all the little bits and bobs around the kitchen. I wanted to kind of keep the kitchen area really nice and clean. Now I'm walking you guys through to the dining area, and this dining table was actually the first piece of furniture that I purchased. Um, I purchased this over a year ago, and it sat in storage for many, many months. Um, but this is such a phenomenal piece, and it really ties in the whole living room and kitchen space. It's actually made of petrified wood. It's actually also really heavy, and the dining table sits eight people. You can see how gorgeous the patterns are in the table. And then I got this little centerpiece because I feel like it really just tied in everything in the kitchen. So. Yeah, this dining table for me is the highlight of the space. And then over here, I have um, bar stools. And these bar stools um, were actually made. So you can see here, we have like the gold accents and then we have some wood with rattan and then we have the velvet cushions. These bar stools are actually really, really comfortable. <laughs> and this is actually where I get most of my work done. And so that's why we have international USBs on either side of the kitchen island. So we have international plugs with USB. I just feel like that's so important. And it's so crazy because you never think about all the little details when you're building a house. Um, but these are the things that make a house a home and make it comfortable. So having like things like international plugs, USB, and even the positioning of certain things is so important. So all the things that I learned during this journey, you know, things that I picked up working with different, um, you know, contractors and surveyors and so on. So yeah, I learned a lot <laughs> in this process. So yeah, I mean, this is the dining area. This is the kitchen. All right, so we're walking from the kitchen and the dining space over to the living room area. But the first thing I wanted to mention about just this entire room is how tall the ceilings are. And it's something that I'm just super proud of because this was one of the decisions I had to make and I followed my intuition and things turned out really great. So actually, uh, one week before I was scheduled to move in, I realized that the ceilings weren't really done so well. They were weren't smooth enough, they didn't have the look that I wanted in terms of that really nice polished finish. And so I asked the um, contractor to fix a portion of the ceiling. And in doing so, as they were fixing it, I was looking and I was like, damn, this actually looks really good. I could see the exposed brick and I was like, there was so much more space. Um, and so I actually told my contractor to rip out the entire ceiling and then just paint over it and make it white. 
So that's something that um, we've done here is we actually had different ceilings. I'm gonna pop in a clip so you can see what the ceiling looked like before. And so we actually ripped it all out and now the space just feels so much bigger, so much more spacious, and you can really kind of take in the space a lot more. So I'm super proud of that decision. And yeah, now we have this um, living space. I've gone with this couch. I actually saw this couch on Pinterest, funnily enough. And I saw the picture on Pinterest and I was like, okay, this is really, really gorgeous. So I sent the photo over to Jez Living and they were actually able to help me recreate the couch and just add my own little touch to it. So here you can see we have little storage cabinets. Um, on either side of the couch. And then the couch is also really freaking comfortable as well. And that's something that I wanted. I didn't want a couch that, couch that was just good to look at. I wanted a couch that I could actually relax on and watch TV and sleep on. I love sleeping on the couch. So yeah. So another incredible feature of this living room space is the light that I got from Pomat Rouge. And this is actually an international lighting company based here in Bali. And and it's gold, it's dramatic. I really wanted to make this house minimalistic, but not so minimalistic because honey, I could be extra. Um, <laughs> and so the light is just something that I'm super, super in love with. I love the shape, I love the color, and it just ties in the rest of the living room space. So we got this light, we got this table. This table was actually picked up from Japara here in Indonesia. And then we shipped it over here to Bali. And then I have some books that I've literally never read, but they look good. <laughs> so we'll keep them there. Um, and then you kind of walk through the space. You have the living, um, the TV, and this TV is actually 65 inch LG TV. Um, and it has Netflix, it has all the good stuff. I'm not really a big, like who really watches that much TV? like in this day and age. I feel like you can have a big TV, but I'm still gonna watch things on my laptop. So <laughs> that's me. I'm always watching everything on my laptop. So you kind of walk through the space and then here we have these really gorgeous um, pots. And these pots were gotten from Java. And then what we've done is put some really nice beads on each of the pots to kind of give them some extra, extra character. And so we have all these different pots in different colors and textures. And I just love it. I really, really love it. I feel like it brings more life into the living room space. And I feel like, yeah, it brings some more life, brings some more dimension. Um, and then the last thing about the living room, as I mentioned before, talking about functionality, is uh, plugs so we actually have plugs here and you can kind of pop that up and then charge your phone or charge your laptop and it's in the ground and then you can kind of close that up again so yeah the living room and I'm gonna take you guys now upstairs all right, so this is bedroom number one, and this is actually the smallest bedroom in the house, but it's still huge, still spacious. And of course, the thing that I love the most about the rooms is that they all have huge doors and huge windows. And so you wake up in the morning and you're overlooking the rice fields and it feels so magical. I think I said that like 50 times in this video, but it really is true. And so you can kind of open the doors and it leads to the balcony. I'll just open it up. And so all of the doors can be opened up and they all lead to the balcony. And as I mentioned, all of the rooms kind of connect with each other through this balcony. And so I can walk from here to um, in this room to the office and to the other bedroom. And so now, Another part of the room that I really love is of course the full length mirrors because what is a good villa without full length mirrors? I love to do the outfit checks and I really wanted to have mirrors that kind of gave the space like some shapes and dimension and so that's why I chose these mirrors. I kind of feel like they give me like a, a little bit of a French look and then you're gonna walk over to the bathroom and actually all of the door handles um, and some of the toilet um, toiletry accessories as well as the tap and the shower head are all from Paloma Hardware Indonesia. Really love the brand. It is is a brand that has very high quality um, stuff for your house. They specialize um, in locks for houses as well as bathroom accessories and also, you know, yeah, shower heads, taps, all of that good stuff and very good quality, also very durable. And I love that they have different styles um, 
you know, in their catalog. And so I wanted to go for more of like a matte look with all of the stuff that I bought. But for the shower head, I used like a bronze shower head and that kind of gave it a more retro style. So yeah, the bathroom, it's super fun, light, airy, a lot more neutral. Um, try to dial that back the black a little bit. And so we've gone with more creams and browns to make the space look a little bit larger. So this is actually the smallest bathroom in the entire house. So now I'm gonna take you guys over to the office and literally this is one of the most fun rooms in the house and I'm gonna take you there through the balcony. So let's go. We're now walking from the upstairs bedroom over to the office space and you guys have seen little clips of what the office looks like with the mural but you haven't seen the finished version so I'm so excited to show you guys what that looks like and how the space turned out. All of the rooms up here have huge doors that lead out to the balcony and Oh my God, I am so excited. If any room in this house was a um, personification of me, it's definitely this room. First, you have Mama Olori here in the background, giving us her powerful energy, and I just love it so much. Um, and then I actually got a lamp with a smaller version of Mama Olori to kind of like make the space a little bit more fun and a little bit cheeky. Um, and then I got this really gorgeous pink velvet um, chair and then this really nice table. And this table is actually an antique table. We got the wood, it was a different color, it was originally lighter. And then we got it and stained it a little bit. And I love how it turned out. Um, and then we got some little bits and bobs here that we sourced from all around Bali as well. So I think I picked this up from a store and then picked up some of the other stuff um, in markets here in Bali. Now I wanna show you guys my second favorite thing here, which is the armoire. I mean, this for me is just giving me rich auntie furniture. <laughs> so I really love it. I got this armoire. I keep just my laptop and office stuff in here and some books. And then we got these really nice pots just to bring out more color. And then if you turn, you're gonna see this gorgeous couch. And I wanted a couch that had some dimension. The space is smaller than most of the rooms. So we got this couch. It's nice, it's white, <laughs> so I don't sit on it. <laughs> but I just love how it turned out. It's really nice, it's simplistic and modern, especially because the room has a lot of different things going on with the armoire, with the mural, with the lamp. And then of course, gotta have the mirrors and gotta have the large mirrors too. So we got this large mirror and this is another antique piece that we sourced, um, I think in Japara, Bali, in, in, in Japara, Indonesia. So as someone who has worked in a lot of different co-working spaces here in Bali, it feels so good to have my own space. And so this is where I have all of my meetings. This is where all the decisions are made. And this is where I just come to think and decompress. And I really wanted to have a space that was my own and just a reflection of me and my personality and I'm just so in love with it I really wanted to have pinks and to make this place very feminine <laughs> and I think we accomplished that um, and I just really love this office and my favorite thing about the office is when I'm working I'm looking out and I'm seeing the views again and it's just a calming feeling uh, you know, which is a feeling that I feel in every room in the house, but especially this room, like I feel blessed and I'm just ready to go. So I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about a project that I've been working on and is launching in a few weeks. All right guys, so I wanted to quickly tell you guys about Ready Hub. This is a business that I've been working on now for the past year. Literally invested all of my savings into building this tech company and we have designed a marketplace and software solution for freelancers, for small businesses, for entrepreneurs. If your business runs based on appointments, then Ready Hub is designed as a solution for you. 
you can get discovered by new clients by listing your profile on ReadyHub, and then you can manage your business end-to-end -end with all of your communications streamlined in one platform. Now, I know a lot of people have communications with potential clients on Instagram, text message, phone, email. We streamline all your communications into one platform so it's easier to chat with your clients, and then you can manage your payments, you can manage your analytics and see how well your business is performing, and you can also manage your calendar as well. So ReadyHub designed for professionals. We wanna make it easy for you to sort out your business affairs. Think of it as a virtual business assistant. And of course, for people like me and you, if you're looking at me and you're thinking, well, I wanna be able to book services and professionals in my area, we have an app for you as well. Uh, the ReadyHub app also features a marketplace for individuals who are looking for the best service providers in the area. And so you can source talent and you can find anything from a hairstylist to a dog walker to a personal um, coach or whatever else that you need in the ReadyHub app. And we are launching in a few weeks. So make sure you check the description box below and make sure you sign up to be notified as soon as ReadyHub launches. It is going to be on Android as well as on the Apple Store and or the App Store. <laughs> and I'm so excited for the launch. It is something I've poured my heart into. And so I'm so excited for you guys to check out the app. Make sure you sign up. I'm gonna pop everything down below and I hope to see you guys on the app very soon. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just came down from the rooftop and we are now back on the second floor. I just took my hair out of a bun. If you've had braids, you know how heavy braids can be. So just took them down. So we are now in the hallway. I already showed you guys the first bedroom on this floor and I also showed you guys the office. And then you walk through this gorgeous hallway. We have a console, a twig mirror, and then this lovely area where I kind of just sit, chill, you know, hang out. It's a really just fun and nice space. And another thing with this space that I really like and that we used to make something that's super boring not look so boring is these doors. These doors are hand carved in Java. And this is actually a storage closet. So I really wanted to kind of give life to the storage closet. I didn't want it to be some basic door. And so that's why we went for this carved door. The top of the door is glass just to let some light in. And what we put here is just like some towels, some extra bits, some basics, uh, bed sheets, things like that. So storage closet. And now I want to show you guys the second bedroom on this floor because I said, this house had three bedrooms. The master bedroom is on the ground floor, which I'm gonna show you after this, but this is the largest bedroom on this floor. So let's go. All right guys, so this is bedroom number two, and this is the largest bedroom here upstairs, and it has a larger bathroom as well. The bathroom here has a bathtub. It's a lot more spacious. We also have a TV with some Netflix, and it has this space as well where you can kind of like get ready, do your makeup, and all of that. The wardrobe also is quite big as well. As you can see, we don't have anything in the closets. <laughs> I actually don't have a lot of clothes, like funnily enough. Like I'm not really someone who has a lot of things, mostly because I live here in Bali and I don't really get to do a lot of shopping. You don't really need much to live in Bali as well. I kind of feel like my life is very, very minimalist. I don't really shop much. No one really cares what you look like. No one cares what you wear, which is honestly, refreshing. <laughs> so yeah, this bedroom. I love, love, love this painting. This is my favorite painting in the whole house. And then we have the floor to ceiling, not floor to ceiling, but full length mirrors. And then the bed, which is super comfortable. And yeah, again, the black theme. I love, love, love the lamps as well by the bedside. And for me, like this space just really, really works. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly the bathroom and show you guys what we did with the space. So walking you into the bathroom, 
We have this built-in sink with another large mirror. You know, gotta have the mirrors, laundry basket, ladder, and then you kind of walk through from the shower right into the bathtub. And actually this bathtub area is a little bit lifted, so the water from the shower doesn't um, get into the bathtub area. And I really love the black bathtub. For me, I'm not really someone who takes a lot of baths, but I love the aesthetic of a bathtub. So try to fit it in as much as I could. <laughs> uh, the shower stuff is from Paloma Hardware. Again, super durable great brand and they've just been really good to work with anything that didn't work they were super happy to take it back and replace it so it was really nice to order some stuff from them i actually went to the store as well the people were super friendly the tap is also from paloma and yeah that's the bathroom now let me take you to the balcony <laughs> All right, so we're heading over to the balcony and this room actually has a really large balcony area and it gets a lot of light. And I know some of you guys are wondering why we don't have curtains in yet. They're still um, in process, but of course we're gonna have curtains at some point. I'm not really sweating the no curtains things right now because I'm just loving the view. I'm loving soaking it up so far and yeah, I mean curtains are coming, they're coming eventually, but for right now, I'm all good with it. <laughs> I'm really all good with it. And we don't really have neighbors as well, so it's nice to kind of just like enjoy and feel free and just really enjoy the house. So this balcony, definitely a lot bigger. I haven't put anything here so far. I do think eventually I'll probably do like a pergola or some lounge chairs or something, but because the whole house has a lot going on, I think it's quite nice actually to not have anything right now in this space, but eventually we'll definitely do something here. And another thing about this balcony is like, you can really just see the pool, you can see the outdoor shower, you can enjoy the view, and you can also see the sunken seat in area from over here. So you really get the full view of the house. So now I want to show you guys my master bedroom, my favorite room. <laughs> Have I said my favorite room for everything? So I want to show you guys the master bedroom. This bedroom is really close to my heart. I think this was the first bedroom that I really like had such an amazing idea for when I first started working on this house. And the bathroom is so Gorgeous, so you're in for a treat with this one, let's go. So guys, the most expensive and most time consuming aspect of the house was of course the large glass doors and you have these on the second floor and here on the ground floor. The doors took us over three months for them to prepare it and then ship them from Surabaya, Indonesia here to Bali. And actually, which is really, really crazy, my first contractor, he delivered the glass and it was not tempered. So we had regular large glass doors. And if you know anything about glass, it is extremely dangerous to have regular glass of this size. And so we actually had to then rip out all of the glass throughout the house and then purchase tempered glass doors. And so that was a huge, huge, huge expense and really just put such a big damper on the whole uh, construction process. But, you know, thankfully we were able to get, so, uh, get new glass and now all of this glass around the house is tempered. It's a lot more durable and a lot more safe. Um, and so if tempered glass breaks and, or it shatters, it doesn't cause, cause as much damage as regular glass would. So now I wanna take you guys over to the master bedroom, which is actually the very first room that you see as you walk in from the main gate in the house. And this is the largest bedroom of the house. And the design here is completely different from the other rooms. And I really love it. And you can see here, my love for mirrors continues. We have this gorgeous and huge round mirror by the bed. By the way, all of the beds in this house are king size beds. And so we have this round mirror. We have these basket lights. Again, I got the basket lights from My Bali Living. And then this stand alone mirror as well. So gotta have the mirrors. <laughs> and I really love the bedding and some of the pillows that we got. And these were also custom made and custom designed pillows. Um, and they were made by 
an artisan here in Bali. We gave her the, the, the design and the patterns, and then she did the embroidery for the pillows here in the master bedroom and in some of the other bedrooms. So you can see here in the master bedroom, uh, it looks out into the rice fields and looks out to the pool, and it's such a gorgeous view. You can literally wake up in the morning and just walk right outside to the pool and just take it in, and I just love it. I don't put on the AC too much as well because you can enjoy the breeze by just opening up the doors. It's just a gorgeous space. And now I'm gonna walk you guys through to the master bathroom. Before I do, get into how gorgeous these tables are. So this was hand carved in Ubud as well. And this was then delivered here. And you can see it's a teak wood table and it's really actually heavy as well. So yeah, I really love the patterns here. And this wall is made from um, terrazzo. I think it's either terrazzo or polished uh, concrete or polished cement, but yeah. So oh guys, we are now walking over to the master bathroom. And before we do, we have this hallway or this passageway and we've built in some um, cement wardrobes. I didn't wanna go for wood in this bedroom. I wanted to do something a little bit different. And so we have these built in uh, cement wardrobes that are polished with black. Um, again, you know, a lot of good space to put your luggage or your uh, baskets and clothes and all of that. And then we have some LED lights that are in the wardrobe area as well. So now we're walking over to the master bathroom. It's an outdoor look, but it isn't actually fully outdoor. So what we've done is we've actually covered the space all around uh, with nets so that bugs and geckos can't come in. So it's kind of like an indoor outdoor effect and then we have the twigs at the top of the root of the ceiling here and a lot of you were actually asking me in my previous video if the uh, top wasn't covered but it actually is covered so there's glass on top of the twigs so when it rains uh, water doesn't actually get into the master ba bathroom so now <laughs> You guys know I love a good bathtub and of course we had to have a bathtub here in this bathroom and so we actually have this walk through shower and then it leads over to this huge bathtub and the bathtub is made from resin and it took about one month to make uh, and they made it here in Denpasar in Bali and actually it's so freaking big like let me get it to show you guys. <laughs> Let me get in and show you guys just how big this is. Like, how crazy is that? So yeah, the bathtub is pretty big. I mean, good enough for two, I think, if you wanted to, if you're into that type of stuff. And yeah, the bathtub, you can see the shower from here. You can look up. I love the effect that the twigs give. It just gives it a, like a really nice natural look. And then we have this wall, which is like a nice stone wall. Um, and yeah, let me show you guys now the shower. This shower is really, really great. Um, I really love like large rain shower. All right, so we're walking through now from the bathtub to the shower and literally this shower is great. If you wanna stand in the shower and cry, if you wanna be in your feelings because I love the rain shower effect. Like you guys can see how nice the shower is. And literally, this is where I get into right after the pool. If I wanna just have like a really nice uh, shower. <laughs> um, and the shower, actually the shower head, I think I ordered that online as well. And it took about a week to come in. So Bali's nice. You can find things on like Lazada, Tokopedia as well, as well as trying to find things here on ground. But it's also nice to do a little bit of online shopping because it was really difficult for me to find a really nice large shower head. And so I'm gonna walk through now and you walk past the shower and the bathtub over to the toilet. And we put some really nice gold artifacts all over. And then you also have a lot of lighting in this space, which is nice, at, especially at night. It looks really, really good. And then you walk over here to the his and her sinks and these large mirrors again. And all of the mirrors in the house have different shapes and dimensions. And I feel like it just gives the bathroom a little bit of an extra flair so it doesn't look so so basic. So yeah, this is the master bathroom. I really love how it turned out. I really love um, 
the lighting and the twigs and the effect and especially the fact that you don't have bugs. <laughs> no bugs in this bathroom, but it still gives me that outdoor look that I wanted. All right, so we're walking back into the master bedroom. There's actually gonna be a large door here, um, but that's still in progress and they're still carving it. And so there's no door for now, but there's some things in the house that are still in progress, but I wanted, I was so excited to shoot the video. And so I just kind of was like, okay, we'll shoot it without it. But think of the door in this space. And now we are walking back into the master bedroom and you are greeted with these gorgeous, gorgeous views overlooking the pool area and I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, guys, so take two of this house tour. And we were shooting a week ago and completely got sidetracked. So I'm back to finish the house tour and I'm here on the gorgeous rooftop. My hands down favorite part of this house. It's just such a cool vibe. And I really wanted to make it really fun and girly, I guess. And it's just a perfect place to host friends, to hang out during the day, cause it's so windy and it doesn't get direct sunlight. So the first thing thing about this space, of course, are the swings. I got this inspiration from Tulum. I saw uh, swings at a bar and I was like, oh my God, if I ever have the chance to have my own house, that's a must. And so had to have the swings here. And then these gorgeous basket lights, which were um, gotten from my Bali living. And then the neon lights, <laughs> the neon lights behind me. This gives the space such a cool vibe, especially at nighttime. It turns this place into a little bit of a nightclub. And then of course we have um, a tap here, some storage, cactus, and some drinks. So you know this place is on and popping every weekend. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, so the bar area is really, really my favorite part of this rooftop, but I want to take you guys through to the seating area, and I really wanted to make it almost like a Moroccan vibe, uh, but before I show you guys that, the twigs. So we have rooftops, which are also made of twigs and really just continuing that theme from the rest of the house. And of course it's covered at the top. So no uh, water or rainwater gets in. And so everything is really protected. And then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous seating area and it's super comfortable and it sits quite a lot of people as well. And so for this space, I really wanted to go for a Moroccan theme and make it a little bit more colorful than the rest of the house, make it fun, make it airy. And of course, I still added the black <laughs> with the peacock chairs in the back, but the peacock chairs for me are so like fun and majestic and they just give you that kind of royalty experience here. And then of course, have the seating and have a lot of cactus and flowers all around the rooftop. So yeah, the rooftop has really, really come together. All my pins and all my different ideas have really just come together and I love it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of the rooftop in the comments because to me, it's a vibe. And of course, like all the rest of the rooms in the house, you get the gorgeous, gorgeous view of the rice fields in the background. I mean, honey, <laughs> say less. <laughs> So as you guys can see, we had a party yesterday and that's why we have the balloons in the background. It was such a good vibe. We had Bali Beyonce in the building herself with her backup dancers and it was just so amazing. I also had a bartender, a DJ, and really just putting this rooftop to good use. finally finished and it feels so incredible to actually 
be here and to really just enjoy the fruits of this two year journey. And it's just been so incredible. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. I feel like every single space is such a good vibe. Um, every single space feels like a story, which is something that I wanted. And I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. I don't even say that enough, but pass on the back because you know, I really went through so much, you know, with building this house and with this journey. But thank you guys so much to all of you who left me comments. Thank you guys so much to all of you who left me tips. I mean, I had people reaching out who were architects and builders. I met my landscaping guy from YouTube and some people that I purchased furniture from on YouTube. So I've really had such an amazing community to support me through this journey. And really it took a village. So thank you guys so much. And make sure you stay tuned because the next video is going to be a q and A. I'm gonna deep dive and answer all of your questions. If you have questions about this build, make sure you pop them in the comment section below because I'm going to answer them. I want to be as transparent as possible about the costs, about the legalities, the process. So answer, ask, and it will be answered. <laughs> now, Make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications and follow me at Chitty Ashley. Follow my businesses at Ready Hub, Ready Hub Pro, and Chitty Ashley Travels, my travel company. We curate bucket list experiences for people who are coming to Bali, Indonesia. And you can actually book this villa as well. So you can book Villa Lori for your next vacation in Bali. The villa will be available from next year, 2022. So I'm excited for people to enjoy the space as, <laughs> to enjoy the space as much as I enjoy it. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.